here with Taneja Hayes, senior point guard, Vance High School. Taneja, you're having a great year this year. You're averaging 13 points per game. What's been the key to your success this season? Uh, mainly the teams, for real. I just pass them the ball and move to the open spots, and they just find me, and it's easy to score there. So that's mainly the success for me scoring. So tell me more about that, being the point guard, running the, the team of a lot of talent on the offensive end. What is that like? Uh, it's, it's difficult for real because we got two big post players and most most teams know that. So they like to double down on them and most, most of our like scoring come through them. So yeah, it's hard, but we like adjust real good. And with them being able to shoot uh, and working on their shooting, it's getting easier. So yeah. So how do you determine who's going to get the ball on what play? Because you can kind of pass it to anybody. You have Lee on one side, you got the Twin Towers in the middle. How do you determine who's going to get the ball each play? Uh, it, it really just depends on who's feeling it that night. Like some nights you'll have Michaela feeling it and coming off real hot from the three-point line. Most nights you got Leo feeling good too. Or some nights you got Maya feeling good. So entering and that's, who the, that's how we determine it really. Take me, take me back to last year. You guys get all the way to the state championship game. You don't get to actually play in it. What did that feel like? Oh, it felt terrible because we was all ready. Like, we've been playing against the boys at practice, and we was just ready. We just knew we was going to go out there and win, or at least compete. And when it came down to that point when Coach pulled us out of class and told us we had people crying and all that stuff because we was devastated. So tell me more about what that's like playing against the boys, because you guys have a good, very good boys team here at Vance. What are those scrimmages or games like against the uh, guys? We take it serious for real. Like, we be like, if we lose a game, we coming, we coming back ready to play again. Uh, and they don't, they don't take it light on us either, because they be dunking and all that type of stuff. So, I mean, it's just real competitive, and it just make it easier when it comes to the game. So Daniel Sanford is out there dunking on you guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so good. tell me about FIU. You're heading to uh, FIU to play basketball next season. Yeah. What made you choose to go to that school to continue your career? Um, FIU, they was like, as soon as they offered me, it was like, uh, it was just wonderful. Like, I was talking to every coach. Uh, we supposed to be setting up Zoom calls to go through practices and plays and stuff. Uh, they want to develop me as a point guard and as a person and player. It's just like very family-like over there. Coach Ryan, he's, you've been here his entire career since he's been here. Basically. How important has he been to the development of this overall program? Uh, he's been really important. He's a real good coach. Like, uh, he do some crazy stuff, and when he talk to people, and like, if you like listen to him, you might think he's crazy, but it, when it comes game time, it's like everything just work out like exactly how he said it was gonna go. And he's smart for real. <laughs> That's all I got to say about him. All right, playoffs are starting this week. Everybody's coming for you guys. How are you feeling going into the playoffs? Uh, we feeling good. We getting the team back together how it's supposed to be, how we was ready last year. And we just we feel like we're going to go back and win it. Do you feel you guys have that same focus and mentality this year as you had heading into last year? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Tanisha Hayes, thank you so much for talking to us today. I wish you best of luck in the playoffs.